To use the Victron BMV battery monitor app, click on the Victron Connect app. And here you're gonna see different devices pull up and you're gonna look for your battery monitor, which at this particular moment is this one. And your battery information is gonna pull up here. And what you're gonna see here, first thing is gonna have a pop-up that asks you to change the pin code if you wanna change the pin code. If not, you can put not now. And then from here, you're gonna see this and you'll see your state of charge, which is 89% remaining. This is gonna tell you how much capacity you have left. And then here you have the voltage of the battery bank, which is 13.3. If it gets below 12 volts, that means the battery is dead, needs to be recharged, and it'll get up to 14.4 volts when fully charged. The voltage will go up and down depending on the remaining capacity of the battery. The next line is the current going in or out of the battery. If it's a positive number, that means it's charging. And if it's a negative number, that means it's discharging. If it's zero, that means there's nothing going in and out of the battery bank. This number represents amps going in or out of the battery per hour. So if it's a positive 100 amps, that means you can have a 400 amp hour battery bank charged in four hours. The next line is the power, which is basically the same thing as the current, but it's showing in wattage instead of amps. So if it says negative 1000 watts, that means you're using a thousand watts from the battery. The next line is the consumed amp hours. And this is the amount of amp hours you consume from a full battery. So if you have, let's say a hundred amp hour battery, and here it's a negative 44, that means you use 44 amp hours out of that battery and you need to recharge 44 amp hours to get back to full. The next line here is your time remaining. And this will estimate the time remaining you have left on battery power. Now, right now it's blank because we have nothing going in or out of the battery. But if you're using battery power, it'll tell you how much time you have left and if you're charging more than you're using, or if you're on shore power, you will have two blank dots that represent infinite. The next line says relay and it says state. This doesn't apply because we don't have anything hooked up to a relay, so it doesn't matter what this says. Now this is the main page you're gonna look at, but you can also look at the history if you click here at the top. And this will tell you some history about your usage, your deepest discharge, your average discharge, your last discharge, your cumulative amp hours drawn, your energy, total charge cycles, any voltage alarms, and a bunch of other useful information that can help you better manage your system. You can also reset this history down here at the bottom. If you want to rename your battery monitor, click the three dots in the right corner and click product info. And then down here, it'll say custom name and you click edit. And what you can do is name your battery monitor, whatever you want it, and click OK. Now heading back to the main screen, one last thing I'd like to show you is when you go to the device list here, you can find your battery monitor down here on the bottom, and it'll tell you a quick snapshot of what's going on, like your voltage, your amps going in or out, and your battery percentage. So it's just a quick snapshot and easy way to see what's going on with your battery.